The Life Instead Ending of Katie Gerardo Maria Cristina Estela Marcelo Gerardo Garcia known from early childhood as Katie was born on the 16th of January 1924 in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, the daughter of Luis Gerardo O. Chilla a lawyer in the center Garcia a singer Gerardo has younger brothers were Luis role in Oscar Sergio Hama there was a singer who works for the Mexican radio station XU the oldest radio station in Latin America her mother was sister of Mexican musician Bezario to Jesus Garcia author of popular Mexican songs such as Las Cuatro Mil Please Gerardo this cousin Emilio Portskild was president of Mexico 1928 to 1930. In addition to acting Gerardo worked as a movie columnist radio reporter and bullfight critic to support her family she was on assignment when filmmaker but voted you're an actor John Wayne spotted her at a bullfight. Neither knew she was an actress however voted Junior who was also a professional bullfighter cast Gerardo in his 1951 film Bullfighter and the lady opposite Gilbert Rowland as the wife of an aging matador she had rudimentary English language skills and memorized and delivered her lines phonetically despite this handicap her strong performance brought her to the attention of Hollywood producer Stanley Kramer who cast her in the classic western High Noon 1952 starring Gary Cooper and Grace Kelly Gerardo learned to speak English English for the role studying and taking classes two o'clock hours a day for two months she played saloon owner Helen Ramirez former lover reluctant hero Cooper's will came she earned a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress and gained notice in the American movie industry in 1953 she had a role in Arrowhead with Charlton Heston and Jack Palance playing an evil Comanche woman the love interest of Heston's character in 1954 Gerardo was chosen to play Spencer Tracy's Comanche wife in the film Broken Lance directed by Edward Dimitri. The role had originally been intended for Dolores Del Rio but the U.S. government accusing Del Rio of being a communist sympathizer at the height of the McCarthy era refused permission for her to work in the United States. Gerardo was then selected for the role despite the resistance of the studio because of her U. But after viewing footage of her scene studio executives were impressed and their objections vanished performance garnered an Academy Award nomination Gerardo was the first Latin American actress to compete for the Oscar statuette. In the same year Gerardo appeared with Kirk Douglas in the Henry Hathaway film The Racers in 1955 Gerardo film trial directed by Mark Robson with Glenn Ford it was a drama about a Mexican boy accused of raping a white girl with Gerardo playing the mother of the accused for this role she was again nominated for the Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress in the same year she traveled to Italy for the filming of Trap Piece directed by Carol Reed with Burt Lancaster and Tony Curtis. In the next years Gerardo alternated her work between Hollywood and Mexico in 1970 she filmed The Bridge in the Jungle opposite John Houston in 1973 she appeared in Pat Carrot and Billy the Kid directed by Sam Peckin playing the wife of Slim Pickens character. Gerardo received one of her best dramatic roles in the third of the three short stories comprising the Mexican film Fe Esperanza Y. Caledite 1973 directed by Hockey Funds Gerardo was cast as a lower class woman who suffers a series of bureaucratic abuses as she tries to claim the remains of her dead husband for this performance she won the Ariel Award for Best Actress her second Silver Ariel Award of the Mexican Cinema in 1973 Gerardo starred on Broadway again in the Tennessee Williams stage play The Red Devil Battery Sign with Anthony Quinn and Claire Blue. In 1974 Gerardo appeared in the American film Once Upon a Scoundrel 1974 opposite the American comedian Zero Mastel in 1975 she participated in the social criticism film La Salle Bond Yields again directed by Hockey Funds the film was awarded the Golden Bear of the Blinard 1975 in 1976 she played the role of Choo Choo in the film Pente Lion. Why? Last Visited or is an adaptation of the novel Captain Pontoya and the Special Service by Mario Vargas Losas who also directed the film in 1978 she played a small role in the film The Children of Sanchez opposite Anthony Quinn and Dolores Del Rio Girardo also appeared on television frequently in the 1970s. Girardo this first husband was the Mexican actor Victor Velasquez who was the stepfather of the popular Mexican actresses Terry in the reign of Velasquez with Velasquez she had two children V. Hugo de 1981 and Sandra early in her career in Hollywood Girardo had affairs with the filmmaker but bowed it you're an actor Tyrone Power. 
However their first day became the beginning of an extended affair that lasted many years and peaked at the time they worked together on One Eye Jack's 1960 film directed by Brando. During the filming of the movie Veracruz 1954 in Mexico Gerardo met the American actor Ernest Borgnine who became her second husband on 31 December 1959. Although initially their relationship was harmonious the situation became complicated over the course of their marriage the temperament of both led to numerous violent confrontations some of which were documented by the newspapers of the time. Gerardo claimed to have suffered physical violence from Bodnine during their marriage Gerardo in Bodnine finally divorced in 1963 Gerardo had a romantic relationship with the Western novelist Louis the Moore she said I have love letters that he wrote me until the last day of his life. Gerardo claimed to have been one of the first people to find the body of Mexican actress Miroslav Stern after her tragic suicide according to Gerardo the picture that Miroslav had between her hands was of Canton flicks but artistic manager Schotts exchanged the photo for one of the Spanish bullfighter Luis Miguel de Mainland. Towards the end of her life Gerardo suffered from heart and lung ailments she died of kidney failure and pulmonary disease on 7 May 2002 at the age of 78 at her home in Cuernavaca Morelos, Mexico she was buried in Cuernavaca at the Pentagon to La Paz Cemetery. Gerardo has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 7065 Hollywood Boulevard for her contributions to motion pictures. In 1953 Gerardo was captured in a portrait by Mexican artist Diego Rivera in 1998 the Mexican composer Juan Gabriel dedicated a song to Gerardo called K. Reaching the S. Katie what a beauty as Katie. She was honored with the Google Doodle on the 16th of January 2018. Please subscribe to Rodeo Movies YouTube channel. Motivate me by donating plenty of money and get featured in the next video, PayPal link is in the description. Thank you. Signing off, Rodeo Movies.